What's up, everyone? I'm old-fashioned. I love the moonlight. I love the old-fashioned ways. And I guess now that includes Chet Baker, too. When I returned from my extended stay down south last week, I joked that I needed to fix myself, that I'd been corrupted by all the modern movies I'd been watching down there. When I told this to my all-too-modern best friend, she told me, you weren't being corrupted by those movies. You were finally healing. <laughs> yeah, right. So what, girl? You watched The Hunger Games and the... T Don't say it. Don't even go there. No one needs to know that happened. Mm-hmm. Totally not sus. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. It is, because it defeats one of my missions in life. To educate people and introduce them to the joys of classic cinema. You've got some really weird ideas. You know, people your age just don't really care about that stuff anymore. Maybe nobody's heard of Herbert Marshall, but nobody actually cares either. So get over it. No, I'm afraid I won't get over it. Look, I've even made some pretty surprising compromises. It's no secret that my favorite movie is from 1990. That should be more socially acceptable, right? Wrong! Because it's not just any 90s movie, it's a weird little French movie no one has heard of, and nothing even happens in it! So I would sooner watch a movie in which two people sit around and talk about life, rather than a big-budget action film where one building after another gets blown up? Maybe I'm just more sophisticated. Dream on. So that brings me to this. Why don't most people respond well to classic movies anymore? Why aren't more people in my age group interested in them? One person has said to me, I just don't think actors back then were very convincing. I think actors have come a long way since then. With all due respect, I think you're a fool. And now I've heard this one a lot. Oh, old movies are in black and white. I need to see the colors. Do you really? Did it really matter if Betty Davis was wearing a green dress or a blue dress? No, because she always looked fabulous no matter what. And the cinematography of someone like Greg Toland? Absolutely brilliant and starkly beautiful in black and white. And let me make a confession. To those of you who have trouble getting around the whole black and white thing, I used to be one of you. Ugh, don't get all James Dean brooding on me. You're just that way because of your parents. It's how you were raised, obviously. You can't just chalk it up to heredity. My parents didn't teach me to love classic cinema. I taught them. Don't you just want to fit in? Aren't you tired of being the weirdo in the group? Of course I'm tired of being the odd one out. It makes me sad that I can't discuss pop culture and movies with my friends, because when it comes to that, we're in different worlds. That got me thinking. Why does there even have to be a dividing line between old movies and modern movies? Aren't they all just movies? Yes, of course they were different, but they are still the same medium of entertainment. So I like movies. There. Why is that even cause for my friends to tease me at all? Because they're old, and you're weird. This is the 21st century, for crying out loud. The movies have way better special effects, better acting, better... everything? Ugh, pardon me while I go be sick. You're so silly. Most of you 86 subscribers out there, hit the sub button because you already appreciate classic movies and you're interested in my content. But I know there's at least a couple of you who subbed merely because you're my friends. And you know what? You're some of the closest friends I have in the world. I love you guys. But I need you to know that I'm getting sick and tired of being teased for loving classic movies the way I do. Think about this. What if I made fun of you and thought you were really weird because you loved, I don't know, bullet journaling? Woodworking? Studying history? Those things mean a lot to you, the way classic movies mean a lot to me. Even if classics will never be a part of you, you need to understand that they will never not be a part of me. My best friend once said to me, I'm learning to accept myself, and I need you to as well. Maybe they don't think of it that way. Maybe it's just all in fun. 
but not when it gets to the point where it becomes a tad hurtful. See, I may be old-fashioned, but that doesn't mean I can't be kind of cool, too. You're still a pretentious film snob. If I weren't, I wouldn't be P.M. Turner anymore. Just because a person thinks a little differently than you doesn't mean you have to write them off and make a fuss about it. To put it simply, squirrels to the nuts. Charles Boyer in Clooney Brown? See, I can learn a thing or two. Well, I guess in the end it doesn't really amount to a hill of beans in this world. But it's still my hill, and those are still my beans, and I wouldn't change it for the world.